What's up everybody, how you doing? This is Lord PDTV here, uh, also known as Pete. Uh, you know, I once again, we're walking into another week uh, where Mythic Pluses are changing, and uh, lots are changing today, specifically on the 24th. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, first we're gonna get the, the silly stuff out of the way, and then we're gonna get going. So uh, Lord PDTV, every single Monday through Friday, on Twitch, please make sure uh, we are there in the afternoons, uh, usually um, three o'clock, uh, three to four o'clock, we usually start, and then we go till about 11-ish. Uh, please make sure you go there and hit the follow button to see when we are going live. Then follow that by saying, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button here. Uh, that way you can end up seeing when we are gonna go, uh, you know, give you some new uh, videos, which we do pretty often here. So, um, sorry for the interruption, wanted to uh, see what was going on with the camera. So anyway, like I was saying, uh, make sure you check this out and make sure you hit that subscribe button here. Now, um, once again, we're going to talk about the affixes of what we're going to be getting in our Mythic Pluses this week. So uh, the affixes coming up here uh, are going to be Fortified, Bolstering, Storming, Thundering. Again. Again, we're getting Storming. That is so frustrating. So once again, we're going to talk about what all of these are. Fortified, once again, non-boss enemies uh, are gonna have more health and deal more damage. Then we're gonna get our bolstering, which are non-boss enemies, buff nearby enemies uh, when they end up dying, yay. Uh, and then we're gonna have storming, which is those little spinning tornadoes around uh, the, the mobs when you, when you pull them. And then lastly, you're gonna have our thundering affects. Now, uh, all in all, fortified is pain in the butt. Uh, and then we're gonna have, you know, the problems with our bolstering, uh, which is gonna be a pain. And then um, on top of that, we're gonna have, uh, you know, the the storming, which is going to be annoying because you're gonna be knocking people away. Uh, why this is gonna be an annoying combo. Now, uh, most people probably are gonna think, you know, this is not a big deal. Um, where this is gonna turn into a big deal is the fact that fortified and bolstering them together is gonna cause more damage to your tanks, to your DPS, to everybody. It's gonna cause them to take longer time to die. It's gonna be really, really annoying. So let's just take a moment now and we're gonna break it down into what's what. So first, you got your tanks. Your tanks this week are gonna to have to make sure they are on point with moving those mobs. Those mobs are gonna be, you know, having to be taken and moved from location to location because of the storming, which isn't that bad to deal with for the ranged, but it's gonna be problematic for the melee, which we'll talk about later. But I will say that the the fact that Fortified itself is gonna have them do, a, you know, a decent amount of damage, followed by, on top of that, you're gonna be getting the uh, the rest of the, uh, the group from, um, what's it called, from, the bolstering, you know, it's gonna be very, very difficult. So you tanks be very, very careful when those mobs are going down because you might get one shot because you're not expecting it. Healers, you have to really be careful this week because of the, the, the spike that might be ha happening over onto your tanks. So your tanks are gonna be taking a pretty hefty amount of damage because of the fortified already. Then the bolstering is gonna happen and you gotta watch that because it's gonna you might hit them and one shot them so you gotta be careful be ready in your cooldowns be ready for your for your earlier things so be careful of that now for your ranged your range this week has a pretty decent week what you need to make sure you do when you are ranged is make sure you're bailing down those groups together the less time your bolstering is active the less people that are brought to bolster the better it's going to be for you. The reason why it's gonna be better for you is because the tanks aren't gonna to have to deal with it and neither is the healer and they're gonna love you for it. So be careful of that. As for that, lastly, you got your melee DPS. Your melee DPS this week, be on point. What I'm talking about be on point is don't take storming damage. Don't take your storming damage. Allow your healer to concentrate on your tank and spot heal if necessary. I'm talking like a priest Reno or Riju from a, from a druid. Don't make them sink heals into you, okay? Be careful, okay? And then make sure you're AOEing those groups down together, okay? So that is that as a whole. Now, uh, what I wanted to talk about, um, first of all, there was a change earlier this week about the thundering affects. Now, Thundering Affects, uh, what it does now is it automatically always will give a tank 
a negative charge. That way, you don't have to wipe on the tank. You know it's gonna be negative, which means you don't have to wipe on them, which means you don't have to get in front of them when a cleave happens. You don't have to go in front of them when a boss damage is gonna happen. These things are gonna make your life easier. It's gonna make the healer easier, lives easier. It's gonna make the tank's lives easier. So be aware of that and please take the time to you know be comfortable enough to help them, to help your healers, to help your tanks. Know when you're gonna wipe properly. So be aware of that, okay? And then today is the 24th, which means we're getting the patch for the catalyst. I don't know what that's gonna entail. I don't, I'm gonna be honest. But I will say this, if you have alts, if you have mains, it's gonna be great. For instance, I have my main, who really doesn't need anything from the catalyst, except might have some upgrades here and there. So I'm gonna be able to go to the catalyst. I'm gonna be able to upgrade some gear uh, going through whatever way it's gonna be. Now they said that you're gonna get one charge a week on all your characters based on doing a certain thing. So you, I'm gonna be running it on my hunter, getting it done very, very easily because he's super geared and allowing my rogue to possibly get a third piece of tier, which is more likely gonna happen. So this way, everybody is gonna be able to work together. This is very, very, very friendly to yourself and to your other healers. So just be aware of that. So I thought it was pretty good. Now, uh, the other thing is that there's a lot of tuning changes coming in. These tuning changes, you have to be careful on. Now, the reason why I'm saying you gotta be careful is because some classes are gonna be losing abilities, some of them are gonna be changing, a lot of things are gonna be happening this Tuesday. So make sure you go and you look at your talent trees. Make sure you look at your updated information, the, um, the patch notes, before you end up going in and going into your first dungeon, just so you're aware of what's going on. Uh, there's also a handful of nerfs that are happening um, for a bunch of different characters. So be aware of that. I'm, I'm, there's there's a lot going on. So uh, I'm not going to sit here and talk about it. A million people are going to sit there and read patch notes to you. Um, I know we do that here every so often, uh, but I want you to make sure you realize that. Also, you got your mages are getting buffed, which is pretty amazing because I felt really bad for people playing mages because they really felt bleh at the beginning of this expansion. And then you, you're going to be getting your warriors who are getting uber buffed, <laughs> your fury warriors. I'm just like, I'm amazed. Malgum's gonna be so excited uh, to, to, to log into a dungeon and he's gonna be just destroying stuff. I can see it now. I just, I can't believe it. So it's gonna be interesting. So anyway, um, all in all, what I wanted to say is thank you so much everybody for hanging out here. Everybody make sure you hit that subscribe button again here. Make sure you go to the Twitch channel, Lord PDTV. Uh, on Twitch and make sure you hit that follow button there. If you're looking to support the stream, please make sure you go hit that subscribe button on the Twitch side of things. Um, I greatly appreciate you all. And uh, I love the fact that you guys are watching these videos and I can see the numbers are going every up every week, which I love seeing. So I appreciate it and I love you all. Thank you. Uh, dream big, keep gaming. And I will see you all next week for another update. All right, love you. Bye everybody.